Are you struggling to find meaningful yet challenging um, activities that are actually going to keep your students engaged and is actually fun? And you're in this weird space time continuum between state testing and the last day of school. If that sounds all too familiar, hang out with me because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three favorite end of the year activities that will keep your students engaged and having a blast and make the time fly until the last day of school. If you're new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom, all while saving time and money with their lesson planning and resources. So let's dive in into my top three favorite middle school math activities for the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. This is the very first activity. This is all about budgeting, learning to budget, and I love this activity because there's nothing better for middle school math students than an actual real world activity to help them gain some real world experience, right? And what better way, what more real world can we get than budgeting and talking about money? So this activity is quite large. It is 22 pages and it, so I would recommend really kind of like separating, breaking this into multiple days. Um, in, this in this activity, students will learn about budgeting, choosing a career, starting a, a budgeting spreadsheet. So, I mean, we're going over a ton of different things like gross and gross and net um, pay, income tax. So you can see here just in these first five pages um, how large this activity is and why you might want to break this up into several days. You know, maybe this could be like your Friday activity where we're talking about, you know, finance Friday or something. I just totally made that up, but it does not have to be, but we're talking, you know, savings, how much is money is left? What are we budgeting for? And I think this gives, I love this activity because it really gives students some real tangible experience in what it is like to live on their own or live away from home or how you know think about how much help that they're going to get if they're going to get any help at all if they live on their own so on and so forth but again fixed expenses variable expenses i love this activity next we have an activity called plan your summer vacation i this activity is really um three activities in one because Students will get the choice to either plan a vacation to Disneyland, the Bahamas, or Paris. And you, um, you know, this comes as a, there is, we do have a digital version, but this is our PDF version. So um, the slides are, the slide pages are a little bit different, but it corresponds with the page itself. So what I love about this is I like to have my students initially decide Okay, what is the vacation that you want to go on? Disney, Bahamas, or Paris? And then what's nice is that you can have students do this again with a different destination or have students do it all three. So it's really three activities in one because they're planning for different things. Um, so for example, Disney, um, they are talking about, you know, we have to figure out uh, we're writing expressions here, so we have to figure out which resort we'd like to stay at, how much food we're going to bring, what type of ticket we're going to buy, depending on, you know, and souvenirs, depending on, you know, the ticket that we want. And then for our cruise, like, do we want internet, which is different than the Disney trip, you know, so excursions, which is different than Disney. So you're going to get a little bit of something different in each of these activities. And then finally, I love this activity. This is called Math in the Real World. This is my seventh grade edition. We do have this for sixth grade and eighth grade as well. This is a great activity as because it really takes all of the main concepts for seventh grade specifically in this activity and wraps it up into one. So we're really diving into all of the main concepts that we have studied all year. So for example, here is we're talking about probability, um, data analysis. We have a lot of, um, you know, fill in the blank and, and word problems, algebra. Again, we have, we have, you know, skills, and then we have a lot of word problems because I think 
we need to, as teachers, myself included, needs to continue to work on word problems um, and geometry. Again, it's quite a large uh, activity. It's 32 pages long. Of course, everything includes an answer key. But I love this because it just allows us to really continue to practice skills that we've learned. And we all need that no matter what grades that we teach because we're here to continue to reinforce our skills and make sure that we are keeping our structure because we don't want to just like abandon our routine, right? If you would like to grab all of these activities and more, I will add a link directly below in the description box so you can grab all these activities. It comes with actually a whole bunch of other activities, but these are my top three favorites um, in this activity bundle. So let me know in the comments if you grab it. Again, you can check it out using the link in the description box below, and I will catch you in our next video. Bye for now.